Your emotions is what's going to indicate whether or not you are bringing more abundance into your life. I literally started crying at the end of the session. I just have really fallen in love with the present moment. Hi guys. We're starting off at I think like 8 p.m. right now. I just got out of the shower and I've been having kind of a weird day. I had a few thoughts that I noticed were repeating in my mind, so I was like, okay, those must be kind of the thing that I need to work on, um, and I just couldn't get myself out of it. I couldn't, like, flip the script. I couldn't stop feeling kind of, like, sucky, you know? Even, like, today when I was meditating, I still felt super in my head. My, my mind kept taking me. In the past few months, that hasn't really been a thing. My... Meditations have been very consistent, so I was kind of confused today why my meditation was so disruptive, I guess you could say. One of the things that was on my mind was money. And um, I'll get into why in a second, and I'll get into kind of, um, I guess, the conclusion that I came to. But let me take you guys to bed, and we'll talk about this there. So I realized that instead of actually addressing the things that have been going on in my mind, I had just been kind of reiterating them. And it wasn't until just now when I played this Abraham Hicks video. Abraham Hicks motivational speech, money is only energy animated story. And I've heard this before. I actually have this kind of like in an album of a bunch of my favorite videos. And I think I just needed to like rehear it because I kind of forgot, I guess you could say. So the reason money came up was because I'm going on a trip in March and I actually have a few trips planned. I also have a few trips that I want to go on but aren't actually booked and I've just been knowing that I have money that I'm going to be needing to spend in the future, right? So I decided that I was going to start to save more money than I had been before. Um, so I increased my, like I guess, budget, you could say, um, to save a bit more money for the trips. And although it didn't put me under and nothing drastic changed, for some reason, Energetically, it made me feel a lot more limited, I guess you could say. So I started to feel like, oh my god, I shouldn't be spending this money. Oh my gosh. Like, And the thing is, when I spend money, I'm very... Like, every time I tap my card, I'm always just grateful for the fact that I'm able to buy the things that I want and that I'm so taken care of and, like, infinitely provided for. I noticed the past few times that I had gone shopping, it made me feel really, really anxious after I was like I shouldn't maybe I shouldn't have spent this money like now I'm not gonna have enough money and like this whole rabbit hole of stuff when it wasn't even true and even if it was let's say even if I had actually spent too much money me dwelling on the fact that I don't have that money isn't gonna bring more money to me I need to match the energy of someone who has the money and be in the state of receiving more money because Thoughts are things, right? Your thoughts are what create your reality. And if you're continuously thinking about the fact that you don't have enough, you're going to continuously not have enough. So whatever you're focusing on is what, what you're going to bring more of to you. And I just wanted to really point out this video and maybe even play a little part of it so you guys can get like a little snippet of it because it just, it helped remind me that I don't need to fear money this way, that I am taken care of, that I am fine that I can enjoy those things that I bought, that I can enjoy my trip next year, that I can enjoy spending and saving and making money and doing all the things that I want and that I don't have to feel this like impending doom every time I spend money and that I don't need to still just live in this fear mindset. And I typically find it hard to record myself or I don't feel at least drawn to record myself when I'm having these like negative emotions or when I'm having a day that I feel off it's like I don't know where the value is me showing myself being miserable or me showing myself having a hard time or having doubts or whatever isn't helping you guys it's just gonna bring you guys down so that's typically why I film it on the other end where I'm like oh this is what I learned from that thing it's nice to be able to relearn this lesson again so the way you feel is the indicator of what you've got going on vibrationally. And what you've got going on vibrationally does equal your point of attraction. So let's say that you have decided to sit and contemplate money. But you have some belief systems about money, let's say, because maybe a big stack of bills is sitting there and maybe you just changed jobs, whatever. And maybe you're not in a position where you can pay those bills right now. So even though you want to achieve clarity clarity and alignment on the sub i'm not gonna play the whole video because it's like 10 minutes but 
she was basically saying that your emotions is what's going to indicate whether or not you are bringing more abundance into your life so if you for example are spending a million dollars and that a million dollars makes you feel so excited and so happy and so lucky and so blessed and so grateful you're going to bring more of that energy more money more more things whatever it is to you but if you spend that money and you feel holy shit, I shouldn't have spent that money. Oh my God, why did I do that? That was such a bad idea. I don't have enough. I'm never going to have enough. What if I lose my job? What if this happens? You're going to bring in that lack and you're going to bring in more of that lack and you're most likely not going to attract as much money as you could have. She was basically saying that the humans think there's like a limited amount of money and that there's this pie of money and that a large portion of this money goes to like the billionaires, the millionaires, and then there's other people who get limited portions and that money is basically... There's already a total amount that there is and that there's that's all that there is for us to be able to consume but money is infinite money is energy there is no limit on money so we can all have absolutely everything we want we can all have limitless amounts of money it's just whether or not we're in the vibrational frequency to get there which obviously it's easier said than done because if it was super easy we would all be there but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't try that doesn't mean that we should just sit in this victim mentality of being like oh well you know like nothing good ever happens to me i'm always gonna be broke like oh like i've just been dealt this card like you know what i mean we can live in that mentality and for a lot of people it is true and it sucks like i'm not saying that doesn't suck but being able to get out of that is stepping out of that mentality, you know what I mean? Is saying, despite all of these, I'm going to still succeed to everything that I want. I'm still going to make all my dreams come true. And not allowing that belief to hold you back, but instead being like, yeah, that's going to be my success story. I'm going to be able to say that I beat that, that I got through that, you know what I mean? Anyways, go watch Abraham Hicks. Merit came out with a few new products and they sent them to me so I want to show you guys because I'm obsessed with Merit. The first one is this bronzer stick and then this brow gel as well. I got mine in the shade brown and then I got another one of their cheek sticks because it's literally the cheek stick I use every day. I use the cheek stick in Hollywood Beverly Hills and they recently just sent me the raspberry beret because I wanted to try one that's a little bit more like fall-esque and this is like their old packaging compared to their new packaging so you guys can see the difference. So they transition to this little gold color. It's so pretty and it's so sleek. And all their packaging is so like small and compactable. So really happy about that. My son boy, I love you so much. It's it's nine o'clock. It's like 9:30. I just got back from my yoga class. I'm going to show you guys what I brought to the class and also my outfit and everything because I was kind of in a rush before I left. But that was such a good yoga class. The only thing that stressed me out was the parking. It's like an eight minute drive, which isn't too bad, but the parking in that area is just really bad. So I had to like circle a few times and luckily I was kind of early so I was able to get parking in time. But it's just something to keep in mind of like just to remind myself to like always go early. And then I can just walk around that area because it's by the lake, so it's really pretty. And I get to see the city and the view, and it's just really cute. But the yoga class itself was so nice. It was about 10 people, and it was like a small room. We, I don't really know how to explain it. It was just more on like being mindful and being with your breath and my type of yoga. There were some poses that were fucking hard. I have flat feet, and I also have, if you guys don't know this, you wouldn't because I haven't talked a bit about it here. But I have, or I was born with basically two bones that are fused into one in my right foot so like on this foot over here i not only have flat feet but i have a bone that kind of like sticks out of my foot a little let me show you guys not like fully but like can you guys see like there so it basically it basically makes it a lot harder sometimes when i'm you know even just like walking in heels or walking even just barefoot on the floor the arches of my feet will start to ache i can get like foot cramps really bad you know how like your foot can cramp i don't know if you've ever had it but your foot can cramp and it can get like like frozen in a way and it just hurts so painfully and if i hold the position for too long that can sometimes happen so i was just really anxious at certain points during the yoga session that i 
was gonna trigger one of those foot cramps. Um, it was also just really nice. Like it was definitely like testing our strength and our balance and everything, but then also really, really intentional with our breathing and like just getting really into our body. I literally started crying at the end of the session, which is so dramatic. And I wasn't gonna say that on here. You guys are literally my friends. So like, I might as well share this, but I literally was like tearing up at the end. We were in Shavasana, which means like you're laying flat and you're basically just like breathing with yourself and kind of just taking a moment. And I started thinking about how, well, at first I was just like lost in meditation, I guess. I just had a moment of gratitude for the time that I am in my life right now. And I just have so much gratitude for life in my daily life. And I was just like looking at my life from an outside perspective and I just felt so grateful and honored to be in my life. If you're at any stage in your life, you can make it exciting. It doesn't matter, like no matter the age, no matter what, like look at your life from an outside perspective and think about how fucking cool it is that we get to do this. Like. I get to just be a little human on earth, fucking being like, I'm gonna go to yoga class now and I'm gonna post a YouTube video and life is so cool. Like, I don't know. I just, we're not gonna be here forever and I know that this time is limited and I know that every single present moment is limited. Like once this moment of me talking to you guys is done, it's done. There's no going back to it, right? And I just have really fallen in love with the present moment. And I don't always feel like that. I just want to say that I don't always feel like that. Sometimes I'm very in my head and I'm lost and confused and anxious or disheveled or focused so much on getting tasks done that I'm not even here and I'm just like a robot. But there are blissful moments of just feeling so happy to get to live the experiences that I'm getting to live no matter how mundane. And yeah, that just happened to be one of them. That yoga experience was so nice. But anyways, I'm craving something sweet, so we're gonna need to figure out something sweet for me to eat. And then let me show you guys what I bought in my yoga bag. <laughs> okay, so I got this mat off of Amazon. It's really, really thick, which I like. I also brought a little towel. I wasn't sure how sweaty I was gonna get. Like, I, I had really no idea what type of yoga class this was gonna be. Um, and then I brought my Hydro Flask. This bag is actually from Shein. It's super, super cute. I had my keys, and then that was it. And then this outfit that I have on is the Align Tank. This is in a size six. And then the Align um, Leggings in the 28 inch. And these are in a size four. They fit so nice. I actually filmed a video of me going shopping for all of the activewear stuff. So I'll include that here. I just finished in the mall. Am I the only one that literally sweats buckets when they're in the mall? Like, in the mall, in the mall. Like, I don't know what it is about being in the mall. I get so hot. Like, even if I was in shorts and a tank top, I feel like I would still get hot. My face just sweats so much. Like, my upper lip, drenched. I also just need to do my brows and my upper lip in general. So maybe I'll do it when I go home. But I ended up getting the Align leggings from Lululemon as well as the top. I ran back and forth between um, Aritzia and Lululemon trying to figure out which ones I wanted. I went to Lululemon and then I went to Aritzia and then I went back to Lululemon because I was like, the quality is just, you can just feel it, it's different. And it's just so much more comfortable. I feel like working out, I don't know if I'd feel comfortable in the Aritzia leggings. So anyways, that's what I got. As you guys know, I work from home, so I don't get to experience this very often, but the past two days I've been working in the office and I just had to include a clip. If you work in an office or just anywhere where you have to take the car by yourself, please blast your music on the way to work and blast your music on the way home. Obviously drive safe, be like aware of your surroundings and be a good driver, but fucking enjoy your time. Like it feels so good. I am like, Getting in my car and driving and being able to put on my music and like sing and dance in my car alone and like, I don't know, I feel like nobody's watching me, but even if they are, I'm never going to see these people again in my life. Like, it's just me in my car. It's just so much fun. Do, if you guys work 
from an office space or you just like have to drive home after work do you also blast your music and drive home or are you one of those people who's on the highway in traffic in dead silence or are you like a podcast girly like what's your vibe I'm curious to know if I can't be the only one that's like on this highway right now blasting my music there's no way guys come on like live a little (laughs) anyways I'm having a fucking blast so I hope you guys are too and I love you and I hope you're having a good day